Number 10 is going to involve the law of sines. And the problem that you're going to have on a test is going to give you all the blanks like we see here. You may or may not use all these blanks. Depends on whether the triangle has two solutions, one solution, or no solutions. Uh, so first, we're, we need to figure out how many solutions it's going to have. And based on this, the, uh, there'll be a picture provided for you. You'll have to fill in the numbers. So on this particular one, if you fill the numbers in, uh, then the picture's going to look like that. So 37 degrees for A, we were given that lowercase a was 30 and lowercase c was uh, 40 degrees. So now we can proceed uh, and set it up. Now when you're doing a law of sines, we want to first start with the known ratio, which is going to be the sine of that angle over the opposite side. So we're going to start with the known ratio, sine of 37 over 30. So that's the first thing we'll start with. You always want to have a side opposite the given angle, and that's when you can use the law of sines. Okay, this is going to equal. Uh, the only thing we could have enough information to solve for will, will be C. B we can't solve for because we have to have at least one piece of information given, either an angle or a side opposite provided. So for this, we're going to do sine C, angle C, and that's going to be over 40. So now we have that set up, we're going to do cross multiplying and solve for angle C. So if we first start by cross multiplying, we're going to get, do this, 30 sine C is going to equal 40 sine 37. So we do cross multiplying uh, to start with. Then we're going to divide both sides by 30 and we'll get sine C is equal to 40 sine 37 degrees over 30. And if you punch that into a calculator, uh, then I'll just I'll give you the value. It's going to be 0 0.8024 uh, with some more decimals, uh, and that's what you'll get for sine C. Now you don't want to put that down for your answer. That's not C. That is sine C. So in order to find the angle, the first the first one, we need to take the inverse sine. So C is equal to the inverse sine of this decimal, 0 0.8024 with some more decimals. And this is actually going to give us our first answer. That's your C1 that you're going to put on the blank here. Now we take the inverse, and if our calculator gives us a value, then we know at least it has one solution. If you, if you punch something in here, the number you have inside the parentheses is bigger than 1 or less than negative 1, you'll end up with an error on your calculator, and that would be no solution. You'd put 0, and then you just cross out all the blanks. But this one we are able to get a solution for when we put that into the calculator. And the answer we get for C1 is 53.36 degrees. It says rounded two places, so we'll do that on this one. 53.36 degrees is going to be our first answer. Now, here's how you can tell whether you have one or two solutions. We're going to find a, a C2 and that's equal to 180 minus 53.36. You're always going to do 180 minus your first answer. So C2 is always 180 minus C1. If you subtract that, then you're going to get 126.64 degrees. So the question is, does this make one or two solutions? Here's how you can tell. If you take the second angle and add it to the angle already inside the triangle, if you get something bigger than 180, it's one solution. If this angle plus the 37 is less than 180, then it's two solutions. Now in this case, if I take 126.64, I add it to 37, I get a result that is less than 180 degrees. This plus this less than 180, that means I know that I have two solutions for sure, and I can go ahead and put that second answer down on the blank here. Now if I got one solution, then I, I would just leave these bottom ones blank and just work with the top one. Um, but in this case, this angle plus the 37 is less than 180, so less than 180 means you have two solutions. Because you have two solutions, that means you have to work through the problem twice to get the angle B1 and B2 and so forth. So let's Let's now, we're going to, now that we have that information, let's, let's work with uh, triangle one. Okay, so we'll do, this is the first set up here. 
So for triangle one, we're going to use this 53.36 degrees. We want to find the measure of angle B1. And so if this here is 53 degrees, then you just subtract those all from 180. So we're going to do 180 is the total angles inside a triangle. We're going to subtract the 37 degrees and subtract 53.36 degrees. And if we do all that, uh, the answer that we get, measurement of angle B1, uh, you're going to get 89.64 degrees. So this is our other angle, 89.64 degrees there for B1. We still want to find the side B1, which is this one right here. This would be your lowercase uh, b in that case. Now, since we, we know the angle that's opposite of that, and so this would be 89.64 degrees, this would be 53.36. So that's kind of what the angles would look like in that first triangle solution. We want to set up the equation to solve for the B1. So particularly this is B1 here. So we, again, we're going to start with the, the same ratio we had before, sine 37 over 30. And then we're going to set up another uh, one. We want to solve for B1, so we're going to use the angle opposite of that, which is the 89.64. That's going to be sine of 89.64. And that's over B1. Now we just got to solve for B1. We can do that by cross multiplying. So B1 sine 37 is going to equal 30 sine 89.64. We're going to divide both sides by sine 37. 30 sine 89.64 divided by sine 37. And if you punch that into the calculator, you're going to get 49.9 you get uh, for that one and so that would be your answer for uh, for B, B1 so 49.9 uh, is your answer there okay so we have those three done now the next thing we want to do is find the second set of solutions and we're going to do triangle 2 now so triangle 2 we have a different angle here so it's not drawn to scale here but this is going to be 126.64. We want to find the missing angle for triangle two. So that's going to be, uh, for this one, your for triangle two, measurement of angle B2 is equal to 180 minus 37 minus 126.64. And if we subtract all that, we're going to get, uh, for measurement of B2, 16.36 uh, degrees. Okay, so 16.36, we'll put that right here. Okay, so 16.36, so ne next we're going to find the B2 on that one. And so we're going to start with our known ratio, sine 37 over 30. And we're going to do sine of, this time the B was 16.36. So that is the angle we're going to use since it's now going to be opposite of B2, uh, so 16.36 over, uh, and then we're going to do uh, B2 down below there. Now if you cross multiply and solve, I'll just tell you what that is. You're going to get 30 sine 16.36, all that's going to be over sine 37. So kind of the same thing as before, we cross multiply it and then divide by sine 37. And so if you put that into the calculator, uh, you'll get about 14. So 14.04 you'll get for uh, this one here. So that would be uh, two solutions. These are all your answers. Uh, so again, you know, if you use one or two decimal places, that's going to be close enough accuracy uh, on the test. This one said two, uh, two decimal places, so uh, that would be your answers.